How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, letting you know which games you're going to be losing from PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium on August 20th, so a couple weeks from now. First up, we've got NBA 2K24. I wouldn't worry too much about trying to get the plat finished for this one before it's gone from PlayStation Plus. It's a 6 out of 10 for difficulty and takes over 200 hours to finish, so if you aren't already most of the way through at this point, you're probably not going to get it. Next, we've got Need for Speed Unbound. This one is actually super doable if you're into this kind of game. It's a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and only around 40 hours or so to finish. Just be aware, there's about 10 online multiplayer trophies, so you might want to find a boosting group to get this done. Next, we've got Destroy All Humans and Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed. These are both super doable in the time you've got left, with the first game coming in at a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and only around 15 hours or so to finish the Platinum, while the second game is also a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and slightly longer at around 20 hours or so to finish. I definitely recommend going through both. They're a blast to play now that they're remastered. Next, we've got Spellforce 3 Reforced. This is another one you might be able to get done by the time it leaves PlayStation Plus, as you're only looking at a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and around 50 or so hours to finish everything. There's three online multiplayer trophies, one to win a ranked match as the Trolls, and one to finish any ranked match, as well as beating a human opponent in PvP. But if you find someone to boost it with, you can get all these done pretty quickly. There's also a co-op trophy that says it requires you to finish the entire campaign in co-op, but in reality, it's bugged in a good way. You only have to get through the prologue, and it'll pop for you. Next, we've got Trials of Mana. This is one of the easier games on the list, coming in at only a 2 out of 10 for difficulty, and around 40 or so hours to finish. Keep in mind, you do have to finish three entire playthroughs of the game to get the Platinum, though if you just want to beat the game and ignore the Platinum, you can probably get it done in 10 to 15 hours, so very doable in the time we have left. Next, we've got Lost Judgment. This is the game I'll be most sad to see leave, though I still haven't finished the first game, so I guess it's kind of a moot point. This could be doable between now and the 20th when it leaves, but you better get started now if you plan on going for it. It's a 5 out of 10 for difficulty and around 80 or so hours to finish with two full playthroughs required. Honestly, as this is a Ryu Gagodoku game, I would just wait and buy it when it's on sale so you don't have to rush, as it's always better to take your time and fully enjoy these games. Next, we've got Moving Out 2. This is another super doable game if you've got a friend you can play it with, as it's only a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and around 15 or so hours to finish everything. I would absolutely recommend grabbing somebody to play this with. It really is a blast, though definitely make sure you're the host as some of the world trophies can be buggy and not pop if you're not the host. Next, we've got Midnight Fight Express. This is by far the most difficult game to get the Platinum in on this list, coming in at an 8 out of 10 for difficulty and around 40 or so hours to finish everything. You have to S rank every level, beat every level on the hardest difficulty, complete all the challenges, and do a ton of specific kill trophies. So if you're up for a challenge, this is the one for you. Finally, we've got Sea of Stars. This is the other game I'm bummed about losing, as it's an absolute gem of an RPG. Like Lost Judgment, it's pretty doable if you start today, but I would recommend to just wait for it to be on sale so you can enjoy it at your own pace. It's only a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and takes around 40 or so hours to finish everything, and it really is an awesome modern take on a pixel RPG. Alright, that'll do it for me though, everybody. It's never a fun video to make, but I figured I'd let you know what you'll be losing in a few weeks, just in case you want to go for any of these Platinums while you still can. If you enjoyed the video, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like, comment down below which of these games you're most bummed about losing, and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation Plus news and trophy hunting content.